I love Thanksgiving. It's the great American holiday. But one problem I have had over the years is running into situations where my least favorite Thanksgiving feast food winds up on the table. Usually, you know, made by some relative with great love and everyone's expected to eat it and I can't stand it. You know, and, and, and there's several dishes like that, but the worst of all are rutabagas. It's some kind of a turnip my sister-in-law uh, used to make. And it's just nasty looking, nasty smelling, horrible tasting. And um, uh, I have this thing about rutabagas. I have no idea if they're going to show up on our table uh, tomorrow or not. But I'll never forget the Thanksgiving, and I talked about it on the program uh, today. Um, the Thanksgiving of the great rutabaga toss in the family, where my sister-in-law was bringing in the rutabagas, and she tripped, and the pot went flying and smashed on the ground. No rutabagas. I mean, I was saying, yes, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, at the same time, I'm saying, oh, can I help you? I feel terrible. I think everybody has one of those least favorite Thanksgiving foods, and rutabagas are mine. If anybody trots out rutabagas where you are, run from the table with all possible speed. But what I'm hoping is that Central Floridians will not be running to the stores with all possible speed. Stores open in alarmingly greater numbers than ever before on Thanksgiving. Can't we just hold one day sacred and apart? You know, I just ache for all of the store employees who have to get up from the Thanksgiving table and leave their families to go to work in these stores that now have to be open on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving used to be a holiday completely devoid of commercial hype, and it just grinds my gears that it's no longer that way. But in closing, with wishes for a happy Thanksgiving for you and yours, remember... We all have it within our power to keep Thanksgiving traditions just as they have always been. Just because the store is open doesn't, need we need, doesn't mean we need to be there on Thanksgiving Day. Let's hold Thanksgiving sacred and apart to give thanks to the good Lord Almighty for all of the blessings bestowed upon us and the blessings of family and spend some quality time with the ones we love. Happy Thanksgiving from all of us here on Bud Hedinger Live. I'll see you on Monday. Until then, God bless and take care.